Hey everyone, it's Val of Huntress and welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is going to be What Mysteries Will Be Revealed to You Next? If you are new here, welcome um, or welcome back. Um, I do pick a card readings and other spiritual based video topics. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me as well, my details are in the description box below. If you're not following me on Instagram or TikTok, my handle is at Vale of Huntress. And if you would like to win a free reading with me, all you need to do is subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, leave a comment below. But I'll leave all the um, I will leave all the instructions in the description box as well. Also, thank you to Erica who um, sent a donation as well. I really appreciate it. So thank you. Great, so let's jump back into the reading. So I wanted to, I don't know, I kind of like wanted to ask about, um, yeah, so like what mysteries are going to be revealed to you next? Because I kind of feel like a lot of you maybe have situations that you're needing clarity on or something that's kind of blurred or, or you're confused about it. Um, and I really thought this might be a great way to kind of unravel and see any clues and any guidance that will come through and any, any clarity just to give you like a peace of mind. Um, so anything that's going to come through from spirit and what we can channel through. Um, I have pre-shuffled some oracle and tarot and then I'm going to be live shuffling uh, some more cards as well. And I've also channeled some messages um, prior. Um, so I've just like written a whole bunch of stuff that's been channeled through. And then we'll do that at the end just to like, like get this all in the mix, just to like confirm like this is kind of, you know, this is what's going to happen or this is going to give you the clarity or this is the steps towards kind of like, you know, like, I don't know, like I feel like there's a lot of things on people's mind at the moment. Um, like you're unsure about so yeah let's just like really look into that I kind of really felt drawn to because I was like what should I do next um so I was sitting down by the river today um so I'm from Melbourne in Australia if you don't know um the river's polluted in the city but hey um I still connect to it and yeah just sitting on the grass and just asking spirit what needed to come through and I felt like this was like a good one that you guys would find interesting yeah just to kind of help you along your along your path great so I'm going to have um, four pictures for you to choose from We're going to have for pile number one we have Tupac. For pile number two we have uh, Gwen Stefani. For pile number three um, we have Shakira. My hips don't lie. And pile number four Jennifer Lawrence. So if you need to pause the video and ground yourself, center yourself, take a couple of deep breaths, just see kind of which one you're most drawn to, which kind of captures your eyes, your intuition will know. Um, yeah, just pick through there. Otherwise, like, let's jump into this. I'm really excited. So yeah, pile number one, let's get started with Tupac. What mysteries will be revealed to you next?
Hey pile number one and welcome to your reading. So you chose Tupac um, for the person that you were most drawn to and today we're going to be asking what mysteries will be revealed to you next. So you might have something on your mind already or you might not be aware of this so let's kind of just dive into what spirit wants to um, let you know and I'm just going to like channel through uh, what comes through again you know I'm always leaving things open because we do not <laughs> we don't control spirit so I'm just a channel for you all right so pile number one I'm kind of being shown you're actually you're actually going through there's kind of like there is like a dark period or you've got you're actually in this at the moment so this is what you're in at the moment and you're wondering so either something has happened something has caused this where you've kind of had to pull yourself back or you've kind of been you know feeling lonely you've kind of been like isolated i mean i mean a lot of us are in lockdown but like um I'm just sensing I can see you and then I can just see it just feels like there's just um, yeah I can just see it's like it's just dark around you so this to me is like you were going through a period of of quite a of like a hermit where you've had to take yourself away from a situation you've had to pull yourself away and you're actually in the stage at the moment where it's like Yeah, we all know we all know that stage. So it's like you're going through a very a very introspective time, a time of really going inward. And so let's kind of yeah. So I kind of feel that's what's going on at the moment. But let's have a look at your cards. So that's like the energy I feel that we're in. Um, so let's. So this is like good for you too. So we can get some clarity too on what's going to be coming next for you. And so let's have, take a look at um, the cards that um, you have that I've. Okay, so we have lizard. Um, pay attention to your dreams and visions. I haven't had this one picked for a while. We have the six of wands. Uh, we have the Two of Cups. The Eight of Swords. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Free yourself. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I am feeling this is around. Okay, so I know that these are general readings, so I'm just gonna say what channel what comes through. We might get a few different messages, but I am getting this is around a relationship with someone, a love, something that is. Um, The Magician, Page of Wands in Reverse, we have Goddess of the Earth, an idea connected to imagination, creativity and nature is coming your way. And we have Angel of the Universe, you have been encouraged to expand your thinking. We have Archangel Michael, which is like, 
which to me is like quite powerful when Archangel Michael comes through because this indicates to me that you're going through a very difficult period and you feel like you're alone but you're not because when that card comes through that's when you're like you've got some fucking you've got some like divine guide like protection with you okay yeah worthiness and ready set go so I feel this is to do with like potentially um, someone like a love situation to me this is what it's pointing at um, I feel like maybe you're in some type of situation where you're wondering about the person um, but it's really or you're wondering if there is a person um, so either I feel like there's a few different um, situations there is like already a person that you do have love like romantic feelings about um, and you've kind of had to move through this um, or I feel like you're trying to or there's another situation where you're trying to move towards a love situation and you really you're trying to manifest this um, but you've really had to work on yourself is what I've been told. Um, with this free yourself, it's also telling me about, I don't know, you probably can't see it in the corner. With this free yourself, it's also telling me, how many had this one come? I didn't even know that was in there. With this free yourself, it's also talking about, like it's, it's kind of telling me you're in this moment of in time where perhaps you're feeling alone, something has happened, or you're just feeling like, you're just feeling alone, whatever the situation may be. And either this is, and I feel like your heart is just like being directed to either there is a person or you would like to have a person. But it's kind of like everything is this way, this introspective and every, and what it is teaching you is about coming back to the self, coming back to you, coming back to not looking outside of yourself to attract this love, but going within going within and really connecting back to yourself and taking your power back in whatever situation because I feel like maybe you're trying to manifest something in regards to I mean there's something with love there's something here with matters of the heart there's something where it's been difficult but you know what you feel and that's what like shits you because you're like I know what I feel like I'm not crazy I know what I'm feeling but then it's like you know like when you feel things um on this other level or you can like see things it's like different to like than when we're on earth and it's like in the practical reality of situations or when we can't control other people's like uh, behaviors and stuff like that but this is also coming back to a place of like you're really being guided to um because you have this like love yourself first and like free yourself like knowing that you are the one in control of your life but by giving everything you want to yourself by you know not looking for whatever you want in someone else but giving that to yourself i feel like maybe this is the answer and this is what you're going to get clarity around in terms of what mystery is going to be revealed to you next so either there's like matters around the heart or you're just really like something hasn't worked out or you're really just yearning I don't know with this to a cup I'm just like it's like this love I had to walk away fuck and then it's like oh my heart and it's like I don't know it's just like it's so beautiful like It's like my heart and then this confusion between like what you see in dream time and what you know because you quite you know like this is a general reading as well but a lot of you might feel things or, or know things on a deeper level and when you have connections with people it's like different but sometimes other people don't really see that and you could be connecting to them in dream time or you know you're meant to be together or some shit like that or there's this other 
past life or a tie or some type of soul, you know, like it's like you're quite wise and you know kind of like the deeper level of this, but sometimes in, in, rea in walking reality, it doesn't really turn out like that. And this is just kind of the saying to like maybe break yourself away from this kind of situation to reflect it back like on you reflecting the love back to you and this is kind of where the shift will then and the clarity will start to come through I see with like this magician card creating what you want but it doesn't kind of come externally like the magician is like creating energy from within within oneself creating the life with beliefs and what our energy is like emitting you know what are you believing what are you feeling what are you drawing to you there's a whole lot of stuff but that all goes from like connecting inward letting go of like you know things that don't serve you or beliefs or just for now this idealism but kind of like coming back to you and this is what's going to like amplify your magic and what you'll get clarity and the mystery that will be revealed to you is like I actually know what I need to do because maybe you're like in a rut at the moment and you're not really knowing what to do like moving forward so we have like with this goddess of earth and the angel of the universe here yeah, being encouraged to expand your thinking looking beyond you know like maybe you're fixated on one thing where there's actually like another way to that you're not looking at other possibilities other things you're not seeing because you're too focused perhaps on like one factor and you're not kind of seeing the other potential and here what's standing out to me too is like the heart this heart like her um hanging she's not hanging she's, this heart on the tree well she's a part of the tree so the connection so an idea connected to imagination creativity and nature is coming your way so i feel like you're going to your the mystery that will be revealed to you is just i don't know i feel like it'll come like i'm getting to with this dream time something is going to come to you in your dream i'm also getting that in your connection to mother gaia so in nature really connecting and connecting into your heart connecting into more of like your whole being and I feel like like this is gonna like unravel perhaps you have like your beliefs have been limited or you're like being think you're yeah because it's saying you're being encouraged to expand your thinking and I'm just also seeing this kind of like a bit like she's bound a bit so yeah I kind of mean like yeah like she's like tied up a bit but it's like maybe connecting that back into like into yeah, like I feel like in your connection to earth and in your connection to your heart, you'll be able to then release kind of these like, yeah, kind of just feel like you have like shackles or something or like you're bound by something, bound by like old beliefs or bound by old thinking or bound by this like this heart or something you're trying to get where it's like you don't have to do that type of thing. Like there is another way. There is a way that is like, more than what you're wanting to see and like she has her eyes closed I kind of feel like you're not wanting to see something and this is what's going to be revealed to you you're going to have a change page of wands in reverse yeah I kind of feel like there's like a new start a new beginning but then again it's like you're not wanting to see so you've been encouraged to really like open your mind to like the possibilities and really taking a different approach in this type of love or this love situation that you're trying to manifest and we have worthiness so there's a lot of things around love yourself first worthiness so this is coming from you you are worthy you deserve love and kind of feel like if you're trying to manifest something and i feel like this group is then this is like the way you're going to do it is like working on yourself knowing your worth freeing yourself from any taking you know like and again like it's like constricted like bound in here there's a lot of things around constriction so maybe like you're thinking or you feel like you're in prison you feel like you don't have a choice but it's like what's going to be your mystery that will be revealed to you is like oh shit no actually i do have a choice 
and I'm choosing to move forward and look at this different and do something different to change like the outcome and then at the end we have reset go so then I feel like at the end of this kind of feel like it'll be within the month and then you'll be like yep now's the perfect time to dive in and embrace your heart's desire and then you're going to be like yes this is exactly what I want but it's like doing the inner work, changing the thinking, changing your viewpoints. And that's when you're like, fuck yeah, I'm ready to like dive into what I want. So if this isn't a love situation um, that you're in, so I kind of got, it was something that, so it could be that, so either you are with a situationship with someone um, and this is, um, the message or it was like you're wanting to manifest this and then this is the message or it could be just like but I do feel it's like love something around love for sure um, in whatever capacity so whatever capacity this is it is saying to go back to you go back to you and then the mystery that's going to be revealed is like actually I'm not bound I can change my beliefs, I need to be, I am going to be worthy, I'm going to have to fill myself up first and then this is how things will shift and then I'll know exactly what I need to do moving forward. Um, I think that's pretty much, I'll just pick one of these and then your channeled um, message but I think, I always say one and then like... <gasps> I just feel like constricted thinking you constricted thinking connecting back to your emotions working through this freeing yourself people are not in power of you you are in power of yourself take your power back and come back to you this is the way that you will manifest love so love in whatever capacity but this is definitely saying to me worthiness free yourself love yourself they're all the same messages expanding your thinking being constricted um using that loving yourself and that energy to manifest the shit out of what you want and then you're like going for it okay so that's um so i put some like messages um yeah So these are the ones I've got channeled. Let's see. Okay. What have we got? Your feelings have changed. Interesting. Hmm. Your feelings have changed. Okay, I'm going to see what with the rest of these. Heartbreak and repair. See, I knew it. So it is around a love thing and then you're going to be like, actually, I'm going to take my power back and then I'm going to like work on myself and then I'm, and then it's like something is like, yeah, something's going to shift and this is a mystery that's going to be like revealed to you. Heartbreak and repair. Healing yourself, loving yourself, having worthiness, repairing yourself so you're not with that heart there and being feeling like you're bound or feeling like you don't have um, a choice or it's like an idea connected to imagination, creativity and nature is coming your way. You're going to get a new way of thinking something will come to you to really break this and especially feel with the stream time that um i really feel like the answers to are going to come to you in like your dream in your dream time okay we have witches initiation so this is a part of your spiritual growth and your lessons um, that this is an initiation for you that you've chosen to come back so whatever you're going through at the moment is an initiation we have important news and it says um, you will be studying or learning okay. um, oh my gosh see look can you even see this I knew 
freaking knew this was gonna like. I did not make this up, and like my lighting's like too bright now. I don't know if you guys can see. It literally says your answer is going to come in a dream. So this is like. I knew that one's gonna like. I freaking love it when. Okay, see, look. Your answer. going to come to you in a dream. Spiritual ascension, definitely, because you're going through that which is initiation. And you have a secret admirer. Okay. So I think we've pretty much, <laughs> that was quite long, um, covered everything. So um, yeah, this is the mysteries that are going to be revealed to you next. I'd love to hear your comments below. Please send me a comment, so if you want to win a free reading, um, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. And yeah, I hope this has given you some more clarity. You guys have this. Um, yeah, and thank you so much for watching. I'm always grateful for your comments and like all your support too. Like it makes me so happy. So thanks guys, see ya. Hey pal two and welcome to your reading. Um, so today we're going to be asking uh, what mysteries will be revealed to you next. So you chose uh, Gwen Stefani uh, for your pick a person. Um, So we're going to be um, looking into the question of, um, yeah, like what is going to be revealed to you in this mystery. So it could be something that is on your mind at present, something you're going through. Again, you know me, I'm just going to leave this open and let spirit, um, yeah, I'm just going to be a channel for whatever you need to hear and whatever, you know, needs to come through. Let's just check into the energy of this. Um, yeah, and let's see what's going to be revealed to you, what's going to be coming up next, what is going to give you clarity and what um, you're confused about in this mystery and what is going on in your life at the moment. I'm feeling your energy at the moment is like like a in between of like you being um, in between of like this heart pain and then you kind of like being out and being in the world and being proactive and like getting shit done and then there's like yeah you're like there's this energy of like like one foot here and then one foot out if that makes sense and sensing you're kind of in like two two stages or like two type of energies if that makes sense um so there's definitely some pain around my heart i can feel um confusion wanting to move forward wanting clarity this is kind of like where you are it's like you're wanting, you're trying to move forward, but there's also still like this pain that is like lingering. I'm also getting like not wanting to hear maybe. Okay, we have um, bear, uh, bear, sorry, be the productiveness. Go ahead and just do it. Okay, we have the star. I think like I've got these new cards and they're, they're in like Chinese, so I'm going for my intuition. Star in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Past life relationship. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. My ear is like burning right now. Hair is so hot, like so so hot. It's so weird. I feel like that like flame is on my ear. Okay, well, this is obviously they're coming in hot. 
<laughs> to tell me this. Um, we have the Emperor. The Empress. Interesting. Empress in reverse and the Emperor. Okay. The Knight of Swords in reverse. Goddess of Oneness. Angel of Union. Parents. listening this is like what I'm feeling like literally the angels like talking to me and my ear like burning um let's try to fit all of this in an enchantment okay what is going to be revealed to you next I know I feel like you're gonna get I feel like you're gonna be surprised I feel like maybe you've like given up you're trying to like move forward something has happened we have past life relationship. So there's, this is a general reading. So I'm going to just say like, you know, there's gonna, probably going to be a few different scenarios, but let's just like roll with it. Okay. I'm feeling like um, you're wanting to move forward. You're wanting to like, you're kind of like really focused on work, building an empire. Um there's this thing around really balancing kind of like being independent. You're wanting to be both in like your masculine and feminine energy. You want to kind of also be, yeah, like this independence of I want to take care of myself. I want to be everything for myself as well as what I'm getting. Um, with this Empress in reverse, it's like maybe this Emperor potentially, someone, a male in your life could have kind of like not made you feel like the Empress even though you freaking know that you are, perhaps they didn't treat you this way or perhaps there's something where they're not, then, yeah, it's kind of like you, I don't know, maybe some type of like miss, like a imbalance in this connection or if it's not in a relationship, um, but I am getting it's like in a relationship. If you are single, um, then I'm getting that, yeah, okay, there's a few things. If you are single, then I am getting that. Perhaps you're being, like, working really hard, but I'm still feeling this heart pain. So either that you have, um, so this is a thing, there's, like, a past life relationship that is coming up for some people where there is going to be a connection that you're going to have to kind of um, deal with. There is something coming up for you. It's kind of like I'm just feeling like you wanting to go ahead, you moving forward, but you not really, again, there's a sense of not knowing your actual worth and knowing and kind of like coming back to you with the star card in reverse. It's kind of like perhaps you're too in the masculine as well for some people where you're just like go, 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 where this is like um, what's going to be revealed to you is you need to be more receptive and not so like doing, doing, but more like I'm receiving and um I don't have to work hard or like, you know, like those beliefs of do, 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 like they're good when you have to be practical. But there's also a thing of magnetism that you can attract things to you, like in the law of attraction. So there could be, yeah, like a few different scenarios here. For some of you that are single, I feel like, um, I feel like maybe there is some type of connection that will be coming for you. And you're going to like, if you meet this person, then you are going to kind of like um, have to really connect and like connect to your angels because you'll feel like confused about it. Or well, there is someone of, in your in your life already that you have met and you're kind of like um, still in this stage of trying to really ask your guides and like your angels because I feel like they've been talking to you about what you should do. There's a lot of things, this balance between kind of like, um, like love and kind of like, um, I just really can feel another person here. And then we have the angel of union, a partnership is blessed and destined for greatness.
feel like this group is you're very mac um like i was saying you're very business minded you're very like good at those type of things so there could be some where they're too in them their masculine energy that i was getting but others of you i feel like that was just like an imbalance in this connection with this emperor and this empress that maybe the emperor was trying to be more in control and then you felt less than um and then maybe this person wanting to come to you but then they're not because they're like afraid or something but there's something yeah there's kind of like a few princess of discs in reverse princess of cups in reverse I feel like there's there's a there's a confusion at the moment there's a confusion of what am i going to do moving forward so in this mystery that's going to be revealed to you i feel that because i feel there's just like maybe a lot of emotions a lot of like um trying to get your work done and then trying not to be distracted by um other factors maybe in terms of love maybe in terms yeah like trying to i feel like you're being really emotional at this time and that's maybe why you kind of like um and more in your emotions then and then it's like wanting to get clarity wanting the mystery to be revealed but you're feeling quite emotional What mystery is going to be revealed next to you? I feel that you're going to get clarity over this connection. I feel like you will know the way to move forward. I still feel like there is some type of like um, resolution or some type of healing that is going to take place i see you still like working really hard so that's like okay um but it's kind of like the mystery that is going to be revealed to you is maybe like the realization of especially with this parents card about um factors in your factors of like how you react in things and the patterns that you have that are being passed down i'm getting to maybe a lot around ancestral healing with this parents card and then it's kind of like you're going to get clarity in this and i'm also just getting like the mystery that's going to be revealed to you is like i feel like with your connection with like spirit with this listening card and these angels speaking to you i feel like they're going to be communicating to you of like what you need to do Because it feels like an emotional time and very confusing because there's a lot of like conflicting energies here for me. Um, we have like the moon card. So there's like a lot of hidden things of course here. But I feel like something is wanting to come to you but in order for it to come to you, you have to find some type of like resolution within yourself because it's kind of like this thing is there but you have to connect to your guides and connect to yourself in order for you to find peace sometimes things don't work out how we plan they work out differently but you might be taken on a detour but then things will come around full circle. You'll always get what you want, but then you might not actually want that. That's what they're saying. At the end, we have this enchantment card. 
which to me is like being free, being like you're in the mountains, you're in like nature, you're kind of like re-establishing your independence and kind of like what you want and to me there feels like there's like no confusion because maybe you're like at the moment too scared to take a leap of faith too scared to kind of move it seems like it's a little bit stuck in like what's going on but I feel like there's going to be a real connection to your angels especially um and what's going to be the mystery that will be revealed to you next is you kind of just like got to do the work But then it's like you become more confident, you become more independent. And then in this Princess of Cups, it's kind of like what you're going through in reverse, but then you're like the Queen of Cups, which is someone that can be with their emotions as well as um, knowing that they're not too much. They can still be in their emotions and still fully know looking into the mirror that they are complete and whole exactly as they, as they are with all their emotions and all of their feelings and they are not too much and that's kind of like where you'll get to in this queen of wands like the queen of wands is like the doing doing but also um you know manifesting and like you know knows what they want and goes for it but also is open-hearted and receptive and then it's like, actually, do I really want this? I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like there is some love flow coming into this. But I feel like it's when you're really connected to the this Queen of Cups. But it's like being independent. Being independent. And then this other thing comes as like a bonus. And you're kind of like this confusion and this like in and out energy of the, your heart pain. And wanting to like be busy and you're kind of in these two worlds, I feel like this will come to a completion, and I'm kind of like getting in the next like, in the next like 30 days. Okay, let's do some channel messages. I just feel like some unexpected news is going to come, but I feel like something wants to come to you, but it can't. But the way for you to move forward is with this, is yeah it's like your your guides will be telling you they'll be telling you what to do okay, it's like... have um everyone wants to come to you so um this could be around your work or you like attracting people to you when you're in that queen of cups like energy the answer is going to come to you in a dream you will be studying or learning so this could be in terms of like um, life life learning or actually studying your feelings have changed someone new is entering your life financial growth is here and important news So I feel like maybe you'll still be working really hard and you'll have this financial. You do have some important news coming for you. Um, I feel like you will, that everyone like wants to come to you. You'll be like attracting different people in your life. You do have that someone new is entering your life. So I feel like someone is new is going to be entering your life. Um, so maybe that's like what you're being trying to manifest and that's when like the clarity will come. Um, we have heartbreak and repair which is initiation psychic abilities on point and you have a secret admirer so maybe that is the person um Maybe that is the person that is going to be um, coming to you, this new person. 
um, maybe you say you do have that heartbreak at the moment and then maybe that is going to get um, repaired and then that it will get repaired and then yeah your feelings have changed so maybe that's like with all those emotions and stuff that's going on and then you kind of decide like um you're doing the work and you're doing the healing on yourself and then you and then it's like you decide that you're ready to move forward great and that's all i have for um group number two i really hope you enjoyed this reading and it resonated with you please leave me a comment if you did and you're going to win um yeah, the free reading with me as well. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me as well, you can find my details in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. And I hope this has given you some clarity. See ya. Hey, pal three, and welcome to your reading. So today we're going to be asking the question, uh, what mysteries will be revealed to you next so this could be some type of confusion you're going through um currently or you might not even know what it is um so i'm just going to like look into anything that spirit will give us just to channel through that will give you some guidance and clarity and any confusion you're having yeah so and then we'll pick some um i've already pre-shuffled and then i'll pick some live tarot cards and then we'll i've channeled some messages as well great so what mysteries will be revealed to you next group three you chose uh, Shakira I'm getting this was around like financial finances abundance career which way which way do I go kind of like clarity wanting clarity starting a new business venture or your business um, starting something new wanting more money, wanting to be successful, you're wanting like clarity. Okay, we have the Pelican Forgiveness. We have the Nine of Swords. Uh, we have the Four of Wands. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Have codependency we have this could be the one you've already met your the romantic partner you seek we have passion the nine of cups in reverse page of swords Queen of cups in reverse protection Warning affirmations. Set your sights higher. Clear and shield your ego lock. Clear and shield your energy. Or clear yourself. And then we have the goddess of knowledge and the goddess of psychic protection. Okay. Oh, and then you've got protection. And then you have protection here and clear your energy. Okay. I'm not sure. Like, I feel like this group is very empathic. You're very... I mean, most of the people that watch this, uh -huh. but this one in particular, there's something around either you're doing this work um, or you, even if you are not, you're very subjective or you're very, yeah, like to energies. You can feel different energies. You're very um, in tune. You could be going through some type of um, spiritual um, ascension, spiritual growth. There could be something in your psychic gifts that are opening that is new to you. Um, so this is something that could be a gift that has come out that's quite new and you're still learning to um, like work with this energy I'm being told um, there's a lot of like this goddess of knowledge you've like unlocking parts of you that perhaps you haven't worked on so maybe this is like what you're aware of or what you've been trying to like um, you have manifested and that it's like coming through really strongly like your psychic gifts are like shifting and elevating you're trying to manifest something here this is in regards to with like your business with this morning affirmations I'm being told to really um, set your intentions with what you do want you're really trying to find like stability in your life you're really wanting to let go of the past things haven't worked out for you before but it's like you're ready to kind of change your mindset and what you're wanting to and move forward with 
there's still kind of some doubts and you feel like something is new, you could be starting something new or this could be an add-on to the services you're already offering. Um, with this Page of Swords, I feel like maybe you're wanting to you're feeling like you know what you're doing but you're also like there's something new that's coming so whether this is a new service a new like skill a new product or something that you're offering or this also has to do with this new gift that you've um opened up so there's a lot of things around protection here so i guess really what the guides like what spirit is really wanting you to know too is really being mindful um i feel like being really mindful of who you let into your energy at the moment is really, yeah, I would be very mindful, I want to say. Um, just who I'm getting, like, you tell things about or who you're kind of, like, letting in even to your home or just, like, spending time with. Um, you're very, yeah, you could have, like, we've got, like, release any toxic energies you might have absorbed and clear and shield your energy. You are very divinely protected, so, you know, please don't worry, but it's also just a reminder of, like, um, so I don't know if something has happened to you recently, but this is just a reminder that Spirit is saying, like, we have your back, we are here, but you also need to be mindful, too, of, like, keeping your energy clear and shielding yourself, you know, so, like, salt baths, things where you're clearing your energy, if you're doing, like, any energetic work, making sure you're clearing the room, clearing the space, letting go of people's stuff, you know, really having good energetic boundaries. For sure, people are coming to you for, like, help and stuff, and you're taking on the help with this, like, codependency card here. You don't want to, like, be absorbing, because you're going through, like, a transformation at this time. So you're going to be really receptive and really like sensitive to these type of energies that are coming through i feel like something has really ignited your passion so whether this is with your work um, i'm getting more around like work for this group um you really have to change your perspective on things this is really like taking your courage to move forward with um yeah with like obtaining this new wealth but they're just reminding, like, you know, it's, like, passionate, but you they're just saying, even if you're, like, really passionate, know that you can still make money from it, um, is what I'm hearing. Um, perhaps someone has said, like, your idea or something, or they've kind of put you down, I feel, and that's kind of too with that clear and shield your energy. Perhaps there's someone in your field that will, someone around you that's kind of, like, Put your idea down that's what i'm getting there's someone around me that is maybe not like you should be spending less time with because they're kind of like trying to bring you down i'm getting with this king of cups in reverse and it's kind of making you like doubt yourself even though you know you're like got this there's kind of maybe some energies around this got us some knowledge you've unlocked something yeah and then we've got set your sights higher increase your standards and expect more don't settle i'm thinking this is too for some of you it is around relationships as well um, and even just with your business and in your ventures or whatever you want in life to really like make sure that you're not settling and if people are saying shit to you they're all shit so you don't have to like listen to them being really mindful of who you let into your energy okay what's this for some of you, so the general reading, I am getting around in regards to love. If you are not in a real, like, this is for some people only. So if I am getting, um, there could be nothing around if you were dependent on someone or someone hurt you in the past, so this is not for everyone, that um, you've kind of like let that go but then you're like moving into a new way of like being so perhaps you have met someone or you're about to meet someone and this is kind of like the mystery that will be revealed to you next and it's kind of be quite passionate as well is what I'm getting um that's for the the single if you're in a relationship I am getting that like your kind of like your business and things are quite um, important to you at the moment um that's kind of what you're focusing on even if you're single i feel like yeah in this ascension 
So she fit six years. I feel like you're flying. You're flying higher. We have the completion card. Yeah, I feel like things in the next, what will be revealed to you is like things will become, maybe you feel like you're running around in a circle. Um, I feel like things will become clearer for you with this completion and you'll be more standing in your power. You'll be more knowing what you want and be less indecisive and knowing that you can have whatever you want because you're going to be like blocking out these other none of like this other energy that's not so like good for you I'm getting. Um, this codependency you could currently be in a relationship of codependency um maybe you're wondering if this person is the one so if that's the case they're kind of saying it's like um i feel like some people who are in a codependency relationship and you're wanting this passion you're unsure, is this person the one? This could be the one. The angels are saying, like, it's like you're kind of needing to go through. There's a few different scenarios because I feel like some of you, it's like passion, there's passion around like work and stuff. But for those that are wanting like love, I feel like in the past you were codependent, but you're moving into a more passionate relationship, and this could be the one. And then the people that maybe are still in the codependent relationship, this could be maybe this clear and shield your energy and like you being drained by this like um, by this relationship, not by like the person. Um, you know, they could not be doing it like deliberately, but it could be like draining on you when you're trying to really kind of like what is it that I know and you want like your own growth and stuff and like with this Queen of Wands and you're wanting to really like move full circle. I feel like they're saying with this like card here and the seven of discs is like going um kind of like having to go through like the shadow and it's not about the other person it's about like also what is like the shadow of me that is like attracting this relationship to and kind of like you know taking you know like we're all when you're in relationships it's like two people so it's like both of us have like shadows so it's kind of like you can only work on the things within yourself um is what i've been told and not trying to like change other people okay one more card and then we'll get a channeled um some channeled messages take this one. Oh, two came out Okay, we have Emperor in Reverse and the Princess of Cups. So I feel like perhaps you're wanting to, I don't know, I feel like this group is like wanting to move forward. You're wanting like to be stable in your career, stable in this like in relationships. Um, but maybe there's this thing around like not wanting to express yourself, not believing you can have what you want. It's like set your sights higher, maybe just taking on, this just feels like it's so like draining whatever you're going through with this protection, protection, clear your energy, clear yourself, it's like pretty much like telling you that about, um, there's something in your life that kind of needs to be looked at and it's kind of like, and especially because you're going through something, you're going to be so sensitive and it's like you want stability, you want this queen of wands, you want this four of wands and it's like letting it go, letting it come full circle but really like paying and like paying attention to like what is going on within me what is the shadow that I don't want to face within me and really working through that because I feel like there's a thing around ex um, not wanting to be vulnerable or not wanting to express yourself but kind of wanting to move into success but I've been told like the mystery that will be revealed to you is kind of like you're gonna see that you have to change your point of view looking at your own shadow and what you're bringing um, and that was just for some people and then we did have for some people that what will be revealed to you too as you could be where you have met someone that is like passionate and um, 
you'll be like, oh shit, yeah, they, they could be the one, and this is what could be, um, might be revealed to some people. I mean, because general readings, like, how many energies going on? Okay, let's unpick some channeled, um, So, so we have, you have a secret admirer, okay, so maybe that's like this person, interesting, some people, or maybe you really admire too, and like the work that you're doing as well, for some people. Um, we have financial growth, yeah definitely, I was getting like around your business and like they setting your sights higher, really working on like um, your abundance, that you, all the things you wanted. Uh, we have someone new is entering your life, so that was like that message we got that with that passion and that this could be the one. We have heartbreak and repair. Uh, we have ancestral healing. Um, everyone wants to come to you, so it looks like you're going to be really magnetic and like this Queen of Wands. I feel like this is when you've gone through this process that um, you'll have this like magnetic like energy to you, um, that you will be attracting everything you do want. Especially that sets your set your sights higher. Maybe some of you could be just like dwelling on one person or one situation or one you know way of your business or your career when it's like actually get rid of these dreamers and then maybe you'll, you know you would get clarity because it feels like there's something bringing you down and then it's like you know affirm and then like set your sights higher you have and then you have so much yeah just like the psychic ascension was definitely coming up and um, we have sexy times flirting you will receive an apology and you will have the courage to move on. So this could be moving on from a relationship or moving on from um, whoever was like in your field draining you, um, or you will have the courage to move on. Maybe you're changing business venture. Just, I think, um, yeah, and that completion and change, I definitely see that coming in. Um, and just maybe a change, courage to move on like in your mindset and like what you want to do, being afraid to like someone, you know, you had an idea and someone said it was crap and you're like, get rid of that person. Great. And that's all I have for um, group number three. I hope this um, was interesting and gave you some clarity. Um, if you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my content. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find my details in the description box below. Um, yeah, I'll put a list of like the services that I do offer there as well. And if you'd like to win a free reading as well, just comment um, below. Yeah, and um, I hope you found this gave you some guidance and some clarity and like moving forward next um, with what you need to know. And yeah, I really appreciate you watching and all your comments. Um, yeah, so thanks and I'll see you in the next video. See ya. Hey, Pal 4 and welcome to your reading. So today we're going to be asking the question, what mysteries will be revealed to you next? So I'm just going to pretty much be uh, channeling through spirit. Um, so this could be something in regards to like what something is confusing you now or you might not know about it and something's going to come up and then this is what's going to be revealed to you. So we're just going to leave this open again and whatever um, spirit um, wants you to know and whatever wants to come through for you. Um, I pre-shuffled um, some cards and I'm going to, um, yeah, and then I'll sh uh, like shuffle some tarot cards as well. And yeah, and then I've written some channeled messages too. So yeah, let's um, let's see what comes, comes through for you and what mystery will be revealed to you. And you chose uh, Jennifer Lawrence. I feel like something has happened where, because um, I feel like this group is strong. Something has happened that's kind of like shaken your belief in yourself maybe. Like you come across strong, but there's something underneath here. Something where you're like, am I, yeah, it's kind of shaken you a bit and like, 
your self-assuredness. Um, maybe your something has happened and you're like second guessing if you went if you did this the right way or um, like yeah it's like something that has happened and you're like am I going about this the right way or am I doing yeah something about second guessing yourself or just like not really you know something around like your confidence because you come across really confident but something's happened where you're like I don't, yeah it just feels a little bit shaken up and maybe like disappointed I'm getting as well like you feel like um yeah it kind of feels like in my stomach like you just this disappointment of something or like the way it's going or the way it went or like what you need to do it's just like in my stomach I can feel it okay we have moose you know what is best for you um I've just bought these cards and they're in Chinese so I don't know what this one is but I'm going to just read them intuitively so I'm gonna go with okay this one is the five of pentacles here is some type of something um, and then I'm just gonna put this out because I don't know I don't know what cards I'm just gonna read intuitively Okay, we have trust. And we have the full in reverse. Have the ace of cups. The hanged, the hanged moon. The angel of new life. Angel of Relaxation, Angel of Soul Love, you are a powerful light worker, and um, we have Thoth Right, a spirit animal, power animal here, Serenity, Surrender and release and stay optimistic. I feel like this group in the Sitch Mystery, it's kind of like you've always known what you want, you're very strong, you know what is best for you, but something has shaken you, something has kind of um, made you really think like what it is that I want. I am getting something to with perhaps the situation could be to do with a, an affects a um, like a decision you need to make and perhaps to like your a financial decision too for some people. Um, there is a sense of you don't know what you need to do and you're like because we have the trust card here we have an angel of new life surrender and release it's like i feel like you're the type of person that likes to be in control you like to know what's happening and you don't like to take risks with the full in reverse but it's like in order for this mystery to unfold you need to let it go and you need to take a risk it's like you're going to go through blindly you're not going to know what's happening but it's saying you need to have faith. So whatever has happened, it's like you need to take a leap of faith. I do feel like some type of offer is going to be coming in for you, but then you're going to be like sitting on it and you won't know what to do. And this is when it's like you actually need to actually just like fully surrender. So in fully surrendering, it's like, yeah, because I feel like you have a diff difficult time doing this because you like to control things. But surrender, surrendering, it is like not trying to out to um, control the outcome, like fully letting it go from your energy field, from your being. So it's like sometimes we hold on things so tightly because we want it to really happen, but it can't be healed and you can't move on. So it's like in the surrender and release, it's like you, like she's holding on so tightly and it's like flowing out and like breaking when it's like you just need to let that shit go. Of course I say that with love and it's like some offer is going to come in and you're going to be like, or someone's going to give you something or something's coming in it could be around your heart something's free 
special to you there's something there and you're going to be like what do i do do i want this and then you're going to be like i don't know what to do and you have to like fully let it go so this could be you know if it's not love it could be something to do with um this is a general reading um but it could be something to do with something whatever it is that is close to you important to you something that you feel is um yeah something i'm getting is that is close to your heart so it doesn't mean to be love but something that's special to you and you're kind of like you don't know what to do when this comes forward and um they're saying to let it go but we do have the hanged hanged man here but like in reverse so i feel like you're really going to be connecting to um channeling through like the messages that are going to come through for you in terms of like what you need to do to move forward i feel there's like a big change actually coming for this group especially with this like angel of new life an exciting new chapter in your life is about to unfold you might be feeling some anxiety around this change um that i'm getting because we have like the angel of relaxation let go of desired outcomes and you will get what you want and that's really related to with that surrendering and release and then we have serenity like really going back to peace to stillness releasing that is how this thing is going to like unfold for you maybe someone is coming to you for with a love offer but you and well, and then you're like okay i'm gonna go forward with this but then there's this thing too around that's probably going to come up and that's like around um we have this angel of soul love so even if it's not a love offer it could be a work offer or something where something is giving something offering something to you um and then you're kind of going to be going into this new chapter of your life but then you're this is going to bring up some um some situations around reflection of um am i worthy and things around being or if it's in a love like yeah just getting like um i can just feel it in my heart like whoever this person is or whatever the situation is and you just feel like some type of loss or something there's something here so really being honest with yourself and really looking within yourself because i feel like the answer that will be revealed to you is like the mystery that's going to be revealed to you is like shit i can't control things i actually need to let it go i can't control this anymore and then this new life is going to happen but then you're going to be like oh this has come up again when actually this is to do with me and how i feel about myself so a lot of things around healing yourself because everything that comes to us is a reflection of how we feel about ourselves and really going back to you and also like loving you loving yourself you are worthy and these might kind of like surface in this new life that you're going to embark on um you're a powerful light worker it's safe for you to be powerful the spiritual power brings great blessings and loving service to the divine so a lot of you or some of you don't have to be you're in some way helping the world with like your generosity and your kindness but it's also saying to like love yourself too perhaps you always give to everyone else and you're not like giving to yourself so really making sure you're like filling your cup up with you know and make knowing that you are worthy because that way you're not like getting into that to this like rut of like um things um yeah like maybe you get yourself into like tied up situations as you have this relaxation letting go and being in like nature and being calm some of you might connect to like your to a spirit animal you might have a horse um you might have something come in your dreams as well journaling writing you could be writing in your work or you could be you could be a writer you could be really good at words again i mean like this moon energy too maybe the next full moon or whenever it is about releasing that would probably be actually really good with the surrender and release writing some stuff out and like burning it 
would be really powerful. And then we have stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit before the miracle occurs. Sometimes maybe, yeah. So I feel that's at the end. So I really feel like, um, and again, like this moon. There's a lot of moon energy here. I feel like take some time for a ritual for the next full moon. Right, burn, release that shit. And it's like really working on your, I feel this self-love and the self, this value of yourself is what is like preventing the situation from moving forward and I feel like this is the mystery that will be revealed to you so work with the moon in the next like whenever you're watching this timeless reading and it's like knowing that your dreams can come true because we've got don't quit right before the, the miracle occurs so whatever you're asking for is going to come to you that's what I'm being told but you need to trust and you need to release you can't control it anymore and this is the mystery that will be revealed to you when you're like I can't, I can't control this. You're going to have to trust. You're going to have to let go. We have change in reverse. Don't, um, the two of this. Don't, um, resist the change. Like, release. Release it. Prince of uh, Wands. And then we have the, uh, the Devil card here. In reverse. You're going to be looking at things differently. Things are really going to be opening your eyes to maybe um, patterns of things you've done previously or just like the way you've been. Um, things are really going to be revealed to you. There's a lot of things around the moon coming up. So maybe around the moon time, um, for the next full moon, things will be revealed to you. And um, they're saying not to resist so that you can move forward, moving forward and trusting. And I feel like you'll get clarity, but the thing around the clarity is like, this thing will be revealed to you, but you need to trust because you're being like tested, pretty much. You will have the courage to move on. The answer is going to come in a dream. That's kind of what I was getting. Someone from your past is returning. Self-love. So that's definitely what is going to be revealed to you. Everyone wants to come to you. Heartbreak and repair. Um, your feelings have changed. Important news. So that's maybe like that offer that was coming through for you. Uh, you have a secret admirer for some and financial growth is here with this like don't quit. And I was getting, yeah, maybe you're worrying about something financially too. This could be in regards to like if it is in a relationship or something or it is just purely something around like finances too. But you do have things. I think this is the thing that is going to be revealed to you next is that you'll know that you have to, everything that's coming in your life, it's like you're being offered it. Um, and maybe this is someone coming from your past and you don't know. I mean, it's general reading, so it could be different for everyone. So just take what resonates with you. Do you feel like you will be getting some news? But yeah, that courage to move forward because, I mean, you've got like that new life card. So something, yeah, it's definitely changing. I mean, but it's like release, let it go. Don't try and control it. Um, full moon, will, everything will be illuminated. Write it out, burn it. You'll get clarity, but you need to, yeah, you need to do these things to help, like to help you to move forward. Because I'm sensing there's a lot of res resistance, but that comes with you always wanting to control the outcome. Because you're always being strong, you know what you want, and maybe you're a bit stubborn in that way and not kind of like accepting this change and like ready to move forward. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm seeing um, for group number four. I hope you found this reading interesting. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps um, my channel and my content. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please take a moment to subscribe. Uh, if you comment below as well, go in the draw to win a free reading with me but if you would like to book a personal reading with me as well you can find my details in the description box below 
um, which has a link to my website and I'll put a list of the services that I do offer. So I hope this has given you some clarity and your next steps moving forward. Um, yeah, so it kind of looks like you're going to have a lot of illumination and um, what it is that's going to be revealed to you, but it was pretty much like what we said. This is like kind of like one of your lessons and letting, you know, releasing so you can bring in the new and really around like that self-love and like connecting to the self um, really came through strongly. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and all your like awesome comments. It makes me so happy and yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you guys. Bye.